she's burning off the uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How are you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Hey. Mm. Oh. Oh. Shit. Mm. Your mom. You don't want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Ryan. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, you... okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. <laughs> Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers?
right behind you. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know all about that. She was right still breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a pull it, not on her. Hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eat a lot? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said. Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it. You goddamn liar. Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shout out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look. Let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here. What? Well, yeah. Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Wait, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Sounds like you got your wish. Shotgun. 
Yeah. Okay. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. thinking and I already know it's a bad idea you just ride on through you pull as many of them off as you can and I just I go in through the back down that hill find the garage shit All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need you ride back we ride the hell out after I kill a few of the bastards swear to god you got a death wish like I said not tonight oh, you stinking son of These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. We will show you. You are not one of the found! You are the lost! The you are lost! Get low! Get low! Get low. Get low. Get low. Bruiser. Bitches, I'm gonna kill them all. Every Bruiser. fucking Come one of them! Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, no, no you don't. Ah. Fuck, get up. Ah. Fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like ah, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Ah. I didn't see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh. Okay. Come on. Don't look at it. My God, they are. I'm serious. Don't look at it. God. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. Once you wait out here, let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right, pretty much like we left it. Why? Not like there's much to steal. I'm just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your army, get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. 
But rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, a fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now, when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in, see, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it, like, rattling around back there. Deke, and let's talk. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Nope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now, that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. But Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> You call this piece of shit a bike? I know. It's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up. I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Hey, Boozer. I, uh... found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Boozer. Hey. Oh, ah! Jump! Hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, I'm blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. I Come got on. it! All right! <laughs> Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, 
or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al. It's not his job to know, it's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Hey, Cope. I think Liam was bringing you this. Oh, Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Deke, I gotta tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was gonna go away like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on. Stabbed me. Oh, Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Hey, what? Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. Huh? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. What was that? Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged out. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, little sister? So stupid. 
bit. It was this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Hey. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. See if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm? Easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Because mm. we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Mm. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Ah. Come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Where's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Okay, okay. Everyone, hold up. Let's see. Let's see. You get attention. I'm trying to sneak up behind him. Okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. Go, go. I got this. Go. Hold on. No. Fuck you. Yeah, we see you got guns, guns. Stop shooting, sir. Hey, 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 hey! I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out. Now listen to me. Listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's of here. a helicopter. You killed her! So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about you. I'm no. no. sorry, sir. No. Do what do. Do you do? 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 Do We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been snapped. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. Okay. Come, on, come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming?
break isn't working. No, it's working. Will this whole shit been torn your head off by now? Come on, Doc. Stay it up. Calm the hell down. They're coming. Give me a minute. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. So about those directions? I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. Um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's a... Uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I know what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. That was close. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just. Oh my god. Hey, hey, I've got cell phone reception. Hey, yeah, I'm fine. I just. The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some. I don't know where I Road am. 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right. Screw it. Let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. 
No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Out here. It's big like bad biker, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. Now uh, you like that bike, boy? Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. You don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, uh, yes. Uh, oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? Come How about that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Roll, goddammit! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, it's I, I right. saw that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, so. That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together and... Got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So so I hid. I, I didn't know what to do. It's alright, it's okay. It's okay. Uh Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. No. Uh, there are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp and to eat you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is for it, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home. 
right? So maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. She is. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker! Oh my god! Oh. Lisa, honey! Oh. It's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people got sh sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Well, look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would that been something? Uh-uh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub d d civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 the chapters seven were states. burning. The Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the 
camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. But fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. This is not I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Lisa, I... Go away. I brought you something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. All right, so you wanna put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... God. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. 
None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here! Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great! Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well... I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10, I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender? You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. Oh. For you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it. Uh, it's a funny thing, I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for burns and. Uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had to look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days. Okay, just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to... Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water, 
you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Wizard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Wizard, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Come any closer. Let's just I will talk. kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! With the gun. Oh, gun, buddy. No, I will not! Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Boozer, what the fuck? I... I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You got no, blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I mean, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn, I don't need help. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, Figured you'd get all prettied up before heading in. Oh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 no. I'm just, just sick of it. Yeah. No. I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or one is back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah. Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Eddie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What, the, what hell the hell are you doing, are you doing? in my -uh. infirmary? Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. What are you selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's for Tumalo to Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How are you doing there, loser? You doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I, I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. Uh, 
Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addy is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it! Don't call me that! I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're. Deacon. Hey. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? And, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> It's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Sherman's Camp, yeah, yeah. The plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Boozer. Hey, hey you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Oh. Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. Mm -hmm. Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Uh. Deacon, Deacon. Uh. 
So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught, you head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... No, 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 I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Wait! That's Deacon! Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. William! William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addy, what's going on? Boozer! <clears throat> go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, I'm we need to do this arm. and we need to do this right you now. what? No! Don't you... Oh, Don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no! Deacon. No, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him! Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Stay away! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! I can't it. We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! No, oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Oh, there! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking I'm and I'm crying! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. 
And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's going to save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. Why you brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. 
Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike, are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check oh. out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can rut. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with 
Rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is going to be fun. So now wait. Oh, oh. Wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Well, it's never, never, let's go. Ha-ha! You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <sighs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deep, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. You remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Yes. I really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers, before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, 
Ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deep. Thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no! What is your problem? I just said I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You, you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were- No! God damn it, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just- we're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and Mike, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days? Know, hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. 
I keep this camp safe from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some- Both of you, remember! We are all part of the same camp! That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing down black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizza, why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Come here. What? Easier, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. Kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? Few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving it for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Guess who put that thing away? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about. One shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Ah! Look out! I can't get a shot! Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Looks like the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon! What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks what at him? What you supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me! Next time! Try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need it saving. <laughs> Will you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. 
He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, bike. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Riding out there. Move. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the Come on. Find him. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms. I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend, how you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for She's as soft as the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't going to be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. A little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you to be no. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going oh, out? Get out no, here, no, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? That's how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Ricky, I, uh... 
I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, thank you. So, oh. who... I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh... Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay. Got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go. That's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, well, I was all deacon. Oh, that's really, really cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. Oh, on guard, you fucking that's ripper. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, me. Damn it. Okay. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I... Yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? Tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, O'Brien. No anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Tumult. Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 is an artery. Infected freaks 
poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, no, They're too strong. I know all They're too about hordes. Oh, they right. know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. Over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, shit, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't, we can't leave him here, Deke. We just, we can't, we right, can't do right. it. Here, here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, you see, it's okay. All right, just hold oh, it. Jesus, D. It's okay, right, just, that's it. All right, it's okay, big guy. Rest. Go. Go what? Go. You know, goddamn what? Your guy in the spacesuit. What'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> 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 Stay down, brother. <laughs> Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? Oh, God. I think. I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> Though sorry that no one came. We really pissed off everyone on both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. 
and it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Harry, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, then let it just go. around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight, is proof of what I've been saying all along. Yeah. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Yeah. Now for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. Addy? Addy! 
Yeah, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, why well, that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? Think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly yeah, getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going, pal? Come here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hello. All right, come here. Come here. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Have it your way. Okay. Hey. Huh, what? Wake up, Ooh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What the hell's this? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, he 
Easy, easy. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. Huh. Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? Here, what do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Excuse me, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is... Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No. <laughs> no I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, you got it didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the deck cord. We blow the cave. Boom, goodbye, oh. horde. Uh huh. It was your goddamn idea! Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. Keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here. Because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right there. What are you talking about? Just trust me. Jesus. Are you in? I'll see you there. Hey, what are you doing? What we're gonna do is go in through their goddamn back door. On foot? You never told me we were going on foot. Remember what happened the last time you took your noisy ass bike in there? Good point. Hey, they'll never even see us. What the fuck? Here to start a war. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, Jesus. Somebody. Someone, please. Come on. Please Come help on, we gotta me. go. No, no, no. We're not leaving her to the freaks. What? No. This is not. We are not leaving. This is not why we are here. Shit. Yeah, okay. 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 I got her. I got her. What? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, her legs are broken. She ain't going anywhere, bro. Sweetheart, sweetheart, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Shh.
Wait, what? Jesus, what now? Oh. Oh. It's a fucking horde. No, that ain't no horde. What the fuck is it? Rippers. Here, help me. We can get in through here. Oh, I don't know, man. Come on. Fine. Are we still going in there? We got a choice. You ready? You get under, I'll hold it. No, 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 you go. I got it. Go, go, go. go. Okay. Hey, hold it for me. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, yeah, it's jammed. Pull. Yeah, it's jammed. Okay. No, that's all right. All right, uh, go around. I'll find a way to open the side door from here. Here. Deke! Deke! Oh, shit. Hey, this has got to be it. Bingo. Here, hold this open while I grab it. Why don't I just grab it while you still won't trust me? As a matter of fact, I do. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Do you know who I am? No. I thought rivers don't have names. We are on the path. My followers. My followers have all given up their names. Except for me. For now. Uh huh. Carlos. <laughs> I kept my name, and I kept my memories of how you and Boozer and Jersey Jim held me down. What well, Jack took a torch to my back. Jesse, that was a long time ago. We didn't really... Oh, oh yeah. I remember screaming, it's okay. I also remember something else I learned that day. Something important. Everything about you, everything that makes you who you are, oh, it can be burned away. Until nothing remains but your name. That's what the freaks are, you know. I learned that too. That's why we need to be just like them. If we're gonna do this, you're gonna talk me to death. Oh. We are gonna do this. Deacon St. John. We are not gonna do this alone, no, are we? No, no you! We're gonna do this without booze, are we? We gotta finish this together. The three of us. One down. And what? About a dozen to go. Maybe more. What are the odds? The three of us 
You, me, Boozer, still alive. <sighs> Brought together here at the end of the world. What the fuck have you done to Boozer? Oh. He's not here yet. But he will be. Soon enough. <clears throat> Question for you. What's the deal? Huh? You just drag people in here, fuck with them, steal their shit, and then what? Take it all and throw in the bonfire out there? Is that the idea? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question for you. Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left! You just took it and left not long ago! Join us, brother. You will never be found. No! <laughs> no, motherfucker! Lisa, Lisa, listen to me. Okay, they know you freed me. It's not safe here. So come on, come no. on. Fine, don't come with me, but you can't stay here. You have to run because they will kill you. Do you understand me? Yeah. Go! <laughs> All right, listen. Run as fast as you can. Stay off the roads. Keep moving no matter what. Schizo, do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp and they were huh? torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and my, Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Instead, up there. I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow their goddamn heads out. I'm gonna go find the friends. Okay? Go. Oh. 
Don't. Let her go. Please. Don't. You're all lost. Lost! No, 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 no. <gasps> We were gonna stay inside. I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? <sighs> it's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry about everything. Oh God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want you attacked my camp. Murdered my people! You call that a misunderstanding? Mike, you broke our treaty. You come onto our land, we you steal our supplies, deal you attack you, you kill my son people! Of a bitch. Mike, listen to me! I made a deal! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, weapons get low, weapons brother. down! Get low, hold. Hi, right, Skizzo, I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it, just wait! Why don't you tell him? Tell him how you sold us out to them. What the hell do you want me to do? Oh, fucking god damn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike? But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them. The two of them. Him and Boozer. That's all that he wants. Just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Zeke. It's good to see you breathing, but let him go. What? Deke. Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost tell lies. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah of the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truth. Truce my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. Get the hell out of here. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. Our treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Loser! All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh... We ain't through. Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen! This is not how we do things around here! 
We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood! Get him out of here. Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial. Like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not! God damn it, I tried! I tried to save his camp! The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop! You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. Just because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, Schizo, for right now. Get your gear together, some monotons, all the ammunition you can carry. But what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and that, that corp from Schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd I ever trust this asshole? Hello. Guess Skizza won't be needing this. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There's Addie. so many wounded. Addie. And so many die. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing him the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Schizo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Come on! 
Holy shit! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Unless, wait a minute, was this already... <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. Looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'm gonna show him some fucking payback. There's no way you're getting up there. up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right? Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and I'm pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. Well, Jesse gone. How many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Bruce, there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now oh, and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. 
We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um... Amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know what a clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her, she's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on, he started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. 
So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look at this! Oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people that would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was. No, no. I wasn't paying attention and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just. Oh. Okay. No, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad. What it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay. Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Miss Whitaker's returning. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John, didn't 
think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that they... just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she okay, was doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right. About your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Tielson Pass. He told me once that I... Uh, told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did. Out you get out of here! You leave me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got gotcha. you. Holy Loser, shit. Loser, I... I... Uh -huh. Huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We're watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. Hmm. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road, where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, habit, I think. 
Last two mongrels on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We rode out of Farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep. I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Hey. Her big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't, if I don't do this, well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us campers? Yeah? You go and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Deacon, I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. Ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, it, well, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. 
Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you got it. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Port. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Were well, you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, 
Vasquez. Where has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more? <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. <sighs> do you see your man? Yeah, that's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? 
I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Oh, come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. I mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop tart? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal towing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, Deacon, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Yeah, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one. The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I <you> probably <laughs> did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, oh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me. Real ring, though, right? Not that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right, it's your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without veins. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. You guys are taking this shit seriously. Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up! I'm going as fast as I can! Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! <laughs> we have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, 
upon this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. <laughs> I swear to God. What about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> let's go, son. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh! Here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Now, yeah, let's get you some work. Whoa! Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? 
Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <coughs> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? The Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients, chlor, chlor, chloroform, and uh, eight terp, turpin. Ter Get out! Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered, Lieutenant Whitaker. This is Corporal Saint John. He's a new member of Curie's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylacetic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, was your and we had to go south. We, Nero. They yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Listen, now we can run out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. <clears throat> Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. 
Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Oh, God damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Siéntese. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right, keep it clean. It'll heal on its own, leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing, when the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, güeros, chinos, bloods, crips, didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Come on, boy. Don't give up on it. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Cut up! Ah! Ah! Can you hear that? Ah! Oh! Ah! Get him the fuck out of here! Come on! What do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp and get some credits. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. 
But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order. Ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... Appreciate your help. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. It's good. So, how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you need anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. <sighs> lady's got a fine ass. <laughs> yes! <sighs> that, my friend, is a napalm molotov, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. <sighs> know how hot that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. You need anything else? Nah, man, I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what, I'm, I, I'm not gonna give this one to you. Why, why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon, it's just a gun. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing, it's just... <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. Been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. Find another way. No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... We come up on top of here? 
You lay down cover and fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up tight. Laughing. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. The door's jammed. Here, here, here. No, I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So Sarah. Sarah! There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. It's okay. I'm sure it's jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, what the Hold fuck? on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? It's just that I remember the day that I met you, you fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Can I say thank you? No. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. 
All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check out. you can't get what I need there, you... God, you think I would learn. I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God, if you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good, good with Deke. Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's static. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. We need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Wow. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. It's Aerie. Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's up the and... irrigation system. It's all self automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on.
made them so hyper aggressive. That makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Right. What the hell happened here? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, god, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Get down. Mother fuck you, Sam. Stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh god damn it! I said hands! All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> Just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Who 
Wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're, you're I should fine. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David who's... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down. He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my tone to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her, tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. 
Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this- Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right, we made it. I'm glad she did too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> Okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell? You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But uh, you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. <clears throat> I never thought I'd get warm again.
Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. Taylor. Dickens say, John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... The doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them hate me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. I'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. All right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on! So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. What you put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god, are you, are you, are you trying to cure it? I thought. Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost it. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. 
do that? You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <sighs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Alright, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there, it's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride right in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what, let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been uh... walk with me son please ma'am colonel's orders matt you can't do this you can't keep me locked in here that and then the lord said to noah enter the ark you and all your household for you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. 
When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, what would you have done with the place? Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain. But the next time I get here, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into a cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it shit. Survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time, you'll get on the chopper with her. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! You're a lifesaver, dude! Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time is no accident. No. No they bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, which we have purged. Yes. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. 
We are threatened. All of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. No! No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. But in this age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. There will be no baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire! But today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God! We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse the St. John, come in. I'm here. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, the militia camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. O'Brien out. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey. You watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. You're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian... I'm here. We're heading up to the cone, and we got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone... Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Okay. Oh, we made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh... Oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we can an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, stay back! Oh, 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 Tell you Don't that listen we were to going her. On a He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, Do listen you remember to that him camp over I told me? you about? You know I am not. like the leader of that camp. Lost Lake oh, sent this him is here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you, I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough. All right, I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. He comes out of nowhere, lying. and you're gonna believe what, him? What's that you camp you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. 
Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Barbara! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. Some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You hide behind angelic names of the truth and is, tell yourself truth is, lies. He got kicked out you of You are Judas! Of the and what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer- Colonel, it was me! Uh, it was me! But Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check his shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh, oh. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name, it ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time, trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. 
<laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a row. Boy, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. You can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? They spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you. Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Kuri. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Schizo, has anyone seen Schizo? We did it, man. Right on, yeah. dude. Go after him, don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? Bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on, we gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. Oh, Deke, thank God, come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike, he got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch, I wanted to see if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? You found her? Your old lady? Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She, she's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. Can't be it. How the hell did go through all that trouble? God, I got no idea. My lips are bad. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I can't. Mike, we just, you get back on your feet, you'll have to turn him in. I was, I was wrong.
no easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. What? No, 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 no. Stop. We tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. We tried to reason with him and... Okay. Yeah, I... Shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. We don't have time for this because... Because the men that we killed today... Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. At least they're gonna try it. Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm a goddamn drifter. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. Find Boozer. Tell him to meet me in my cabin. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan? Militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that. We tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. It's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sa Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't. I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're, I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Look, Iron Mike and the rest of them, they're just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nate. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him. You hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're gonna rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna need some supplies. Crazy asses. <sighs> How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well... Truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> hey. hey. I need what the hell is that? We'll get from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I. Uh, 
Pull it over there. Okay. Oh, that ought to be enough. All right, what's next? <sighs> creosote. I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we going to get 100 gallons of creosote? You don't want to know. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> all right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? <laughs> Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. Drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. A couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. It's just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. Man, this, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. Listen up! The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, I need to. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. Okay. All right! Let's do this!
Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man! I ain't getting trapped in here! Weaver, come on, you know we follow orders. That's how it has to be! Where the fuck is it? Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. something. Something I I hadn't felt in a long time and um, and I know that a lot of you might have might have felt the same way and I I think that if we just can Deacon I'll have your side on It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing allow us to rebuild. Everything was here. Protected. Saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> <laughs>
Hold your hand. Water. Get me some. He's gone. Water. Does anyone help me? Okay, okay. Hey, uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey. Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bags. Just get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it! Ricky, I need attack. some help over here! The north gate! The south gate! Move! Ricky! Yeah. Hope you say something for me. Boozer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um... I hear someone's been looking for you. <laughs> what? Kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just a batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, oh, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't believe I made it out of there. Ah, uh, give him help, brother. Yeah, here goes. Jack would be proud. We did it. We did it. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but yeah. <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Ah, uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God, it's your cue. <sighs> <clears throat> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. Yeah, 
No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, to make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope, for a better life, or for a future that matters, yeah. Yeah. what the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um, yeah. he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Hell yeah. huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't gonna give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride? Old lady? I don't know, depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want.